What's up ladies and gents, welcome back. We have got more Resident Evil Zero. So let me just tell you guys, every single time I play this, I uh, I just get like the feeling of playing Resident Evil. It's such a great series, but it terrifies the absolute shit out of me. With that being said, <laughs> we're going to change things up to try to lighten the mood a little bit. So, um... We've done the cheerleader, we haven't done the leather. Why don't we go for nurse? Yeah. So, about that. And uh, let's go ahead and do Billy now, since we've been in this one for a little bit. He's got his normal one, we've done Wolf Force. I guess, I guess we'll do, yeah, it's perfect. She's the nurse of, of Cody. <laughs> This just looks absolutely weird, uh, and I do apologize for that. All right, so with that being said, it is time to get into this. So let's look at our management. We do not need the grenade launcher right now. As far as what she has, why does she have this in her hand? You know, I have no idea why she has this in her hand. I thought we left it. All right, well, anyways, um, I want her to have all of that. He's got that. Um, we're going to be going up through there anyway, so I think we should be okay. So we'll, we'll go there right now and just go ahead and take care of this. I don't know why. I guess I must have picked it back up on accident and just didn't realize it. But the last thing that I remember in the last video was that we left that right here. But, nonetheless, we'll put it right back there again. <laughs> Not too difficult. Alright, so now we're going to set things up for uh, the next section. So, uh, again, this is a game where you have to constantly manage your inventory and your items to make sure that you're set up for success for later parts. And that's what we're going to do right now. So, we're going to go ahead and pick up these two. If I can... If she'll pick it up. There you go. Good job, sweetie. So, pick up the black statue and pick up the white statue. If we can, hopefully there's enough space. Yeah. Good old Rebecca the nurse. Caring for Billy. Maybe her real name is Harley. And she's caring for the Joker. I don't know. What do you guys think? Alright, so you see what we got here. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and use... I always hit the wrong button. Still learning. Still trying to remember. <laughs> All right, but you can clearly see that that one of them doesn't have you know any arms, and there's a, still a lot more to do, and we've got the that there. So if I'm not mistaken, the next thing that I need to do is we're gonna switch to Billy, and we are going to head back over here. We probably have a few zombies to take out. So we don't need to harm her whatsoever. We've got seven rounds, I think, right now of shotgun ammo, so I don't know how many this is going to take. Alright, so we might be okay. Unfortunately, that wasn't close enough, I guess. All right, none, none the wisest. Not too bad. So clearly here, you can see that you can't tell her to come back with you. you. Actually, have to switch to her if she's in another room. Even though that doesn't make a lot of sense, because don't we have radios so we can contact and say, "Hey, come back over here. I'm over here." But that's, I guess, not the way it works. So we took care of them. It's locked, obviously, because we have the wrong person. <laughs> You have to, in this game, you really, really have to remember who's got what. We don't need the key anymore. Uh, 
All right. So with that being said, <laughs> again, I forgot to hit. Oh, I'm just forgetting everything, aren't I? Always know which mode they're in: follow mode or stay mode. Come on, Roger. It will make your troubles a lot easier. There you go. You want to get down, Billy. Good job. A few things to do in here. I'm going to get this in the correct spot, which looks like it is. We're going to give it to her. Let you guys read this. This is very important stuff right here, so I definitely recommend that you guys actually read through some of this. Alright, so I see him. You can just barely see. Handgun ammo. I'm going to have her get up here, and we're going to have her get this. You stay here. Okay. Come on. Okay. Just to make sure that I had it, had it right there. So we got the iron needle. So we need to go back to the room where the boss was. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do this now? I'm trying to think. Can I do this now? I go in here real quick. I don't know if you need to do this now. I'm just trying to, to test to see if I can do it now or, or maybe later. Yeah, we could do it now. All right, we got three shots, which should be enough, I think. Switch this up. Use the lighter. So you can see that I unlocked the door. And the hint is in the picture right there. So we're going to actually go ahead and switch to Rebecca. And we're going to let her get her hands dirty. She's got plenty of ammunition and I don't want to waste any more of that. You stay here. So we're going to allow her to pick it up. Always gotta watch out for that loading. Alright. Again, we have plenty of ammunition, so might as well use it. Alright, you can see what we've also picked up as well, so we're gonna pick these up. Grenades will come in handy when we go back out to the main hall. We can put them in our grenade launcher. She might actually not be able to move this. Yeah. She's like, darn it! See, look, you get the achievement for it. That's what I love about it. It says, I'm a medic, not a bodybuilder. So clearly you can tell that you need to be specific on who you use for different things. The only reason that you don't want to bring Billy in there is I don't want him to waste his shotgun ammo. I mean, we're it's very scarce right now. So even though she's in the way, we can have her move. And we're picking up the book of good. We're going to examine the book. And you can see we've got the white wings. The angel wings. Alright. 
Come on. Roger. So we're done with this room for now. These these two rooms here. Lots of stuff to do in this video. It never ends. I don't think we're going to be heading into the basement on this video. I think we're going to save right before we get there. The basement is a trickier part, which we're going to come up to soon enough. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and place the wings on the scale. This is a very significant room, the one that we just left. Uh, so we'll, we'll be coming back in here quite a bit. Alright, so he sh he's got it. He's got to get... Okay, so what you have to do is... I know, we put them in here so that we didn't waste them or whatever. But we can go ahead and... Remove the statue here. And we're going to say use. We're going to combine with that. And then it does it automatically, so... As you can see, it opens up in there. And now, we can go ahead and place it back. So we're missing one more thing. So we're actually getting really, really close. Alright, so it's time to head over here. Let's see how I'm doing for ammo. That's right, so three. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go down here and drop off our grenade shells. Again, mix everything that I'm doing and try to find the perfect route if you want that S ranking. It's not difficult to do once you know exactly where you are and what you're doing. Very easy to be, but right now we need to go and do this. We've already got the first half of that. I don't know why I took the left stairs. <laughs> I mean, I, I've still got the mansion stuck in my head, so trying to re, you know remember all these places is is a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll stay there this time. All right, so here is a bit tricky. We're going to be really fast. Remember, this is going outside. And then we have those uh, creatures that we need to deal with. Oh, man, right on there. I didn't take... Aw. Oh, wasted my ammo. I did not expect that to happen, obviously. Although we are fine, so I guess it was okay. Alright, here, let's go ahead and make sure that we are stocked up. We're going to need this. He's only got two left. Oh, crap. We are hopefully maybe going to be able to pick some up here. I guess we're going to find out. So we did take a hit, but we picked up a green herb, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Alright, so what we're going to do now is switch, actually who has it? I always have to remember. Man, he's got nothing left. Um, item management is so important in this game. All right. Move the hands. Minute hand, we are going to turn right. Three times. Switch to the hour hand. Left. Four times. 
And that's it. You can see all the extra rooms that that actually unlocked. Is this something you can even grab? It almost looks like it's something you would it'd be really cool if you could grab, but I don't think so. All right, so we got to go back up through here. Hopefully we will not be hit. I mean, what could we have done with that crow? I mean, it was just waiting right there. I mean, there's like nothing you could do to, to not hit it or get hit by it. Alright, so next thing up, we are going to be heading right outside to the main hallway again, and then going in the door that was just unlocked. Letting uh, Rebecca take charge this is always fun. Pick this up, which is the second microfilm. Let's get them all going this way. You guys can read this. A little verse of poetry. That's just kind of a way to get around some of these. We probably didn't have to shoot any of them if we would have maneuvered it, you know, right. But that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's the way it is. All right, so we did that. Um, pick up if we can. Now we have both micro, mo blah, both microfilms. Load. He just should still have nothing. Let's remember where he puts our. So there is a handgun in here. And there is a hunting gun. There's that. The grenades. And ink. Lots of stuff in here. We shouldn't have to deal. Um. I think I think we'll be okay. don't think we're going to need him. I'm um, trying to remember when I go in here. Alright, hopefully we'll be okay. This is also another door that we unlocked. You can take a look at that. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. Take the mode disc. Um, just checking one thing. Uh, it's risky. 
I don't think there's any shotgun shells in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Something that I'm craving right now is shotgun shells. All right, so we need to get out of here quickly. Do a little spin there to make yourself feel better. And get out before that guy turns to <laughs> normal and then <laughs> starts beating the crap out of you. Come on. Okay. All right, so let's take our inventory again. We've got the Mo disc. That's what we need here. Uh, good to go. All right, so here's like the biggest thing that we're going to be experiencing in this area. Passcode is 2D. So remember that. Alright, so how this code works is if you look, there's like little buttons on all those things. We need to go to the files. There's a, a couple of different options that it can be. You need to go, obviously, take a look at the microfilm image again, and we need to go to 2D. So that's the first one on the right, and the last one from the bottom there. So that means we'll put Rebecca on 2 and Billy on D. Okay, so we'll put her here. I'll go check over there. Yeah. And it should be this one. And we have done it, ladies and gents. This way. Roger. So you can see it unlocked that door right there. Almost done with this section here. I messed up there. All right, so we took one hit. That's not too bad. We're gonna need to be a little careful here too because we've got some more zombies to deal with. Uh, we have we've had some pretty poor management in the in this department. All right, gonna go ahead and enter and exit again. Probably yeah. don't even need to have him come anyways. I shouldn't have probably brought him. Alright, I think we're good. Woo! Talk about crazy.
Obviously, she's in a worse state. Uh, I think the biggest problem right now is the fact that we just have no shotgun shells whatsoever. All right, make sure you do that. You see some blue here, but uh, that's not going to do us any good when it comes to healing. And I don't think there's anything else we can do. But in the main hallway, I believe we have some more healing stuff, I'm sure. This way. Okay. I'll go check over there. Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing is keeping Rebecca there. And then we're going with Billy. Now, if you do this correctly, you won't have to worry about getting hit with poison. Napalm. Well, we'll take them. How many spaces we got? Oh, we got plenty. Always, the more ink ribbons, the better when you're saving, so. Alright, oof, don't touch any of these extra ones. Alright, so it's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Look where the king is. The king is next to the rook um, on the very, very end, so we need to move the king. And then we should be good. Alright. So you see where the king is right now. So that should give you an idea what you need to do. We just need to put this over to here. And we've got the last one. The Book of the Dead. <laughs> That's the Book of Evil. There's something more. This is a very important document for you guys to read. So I'll go a little bit slower. He's pretty much explaining how he's got this new virus that he wants to test um, and that he needs, he's going to get a, a laboratory to do so, a new base. He's going to call it the T-Virus. And that he needs to start experimenting on humans instead of rodents. And if anyone gets in his way, they will unwillingly or unexpectedly assist in his research. <laughs> He's talking about the leeches and all that. And he's going to make a move against Spencer. Uh, this is Marcus. Hopefully you guys are familiar with the Resident Evil lore. It's so great. And there's plenty of videos out there that actually help you to, um, to get into it more. Okay. Again, if you do that wrong, if you move a wrong piece, there will be poisonous gas and you can get the cure for the poisonous gas in the place where we just were with a Re Rebecca that had the uh, the blue herbs this way Roger crap I just did it again there we go I know the alternate controls really 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 do make the game a lot easier and they also make it even more confusing the tank controls are, are definitely the more hardcore controls for those fans of the series so now that we have all the pieces to the puzzle
And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the book. And it's the one half. Going to remove the statue. And we have done it. We have unlocked the basement. And of course, that was the whole purpose of this video to unlock the basement. We had a few screw ups along the way, but that's what make that's what makes this game so fun is that it can go very, very wrong uh, in an instant. Um, I'm really enjoying the walkthrough and gosh, I hope you guys are too. As you can see, we are still in caution mode. Hopefully we're going to be able to find a, um, let's see. We probably we do that's at the training facility okay that's at the uh, outside nothing in 3f and just the save in 2f there is one thing that's the hook shot that we left there okay so obviously we're gonna have to be careful from now on because we've got no shotgun shells but we do have all kinds of cool stuff there. Um, we're probably going to re-equip the handgun so that way Billy does have something to attack with in the next video. But uh, I, I like this. I think this is making it more difficult for me. This is making it more challenging to figure out how I'm going to overcome things like this because you never know when you're going in to playing this game if you're going to be able to get by a zombie. Obviously that crow hit us that as soon as we got out into the outside nothing we could have done about that. So all kinds of things which make playing this game each and every single time more fun and challenging. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out, bitches.